What is your name? I drew Marble. Your name? My cow. Okay. Mary Ann, if you want to put all of it in there. <laughs> okay. Um, when were you born? <laughs> your year. September the first, nineteen twenty-nine. Wow. <laughs> um. Where were you born? Like here in Hudson, right? I I believe it was at Ch uh, Chimney Rock. Was it wasn't in no hospital. In a bed? Down there you didn't know what it was to go to the hospital to have a baby. They didn't even have hospitals? Oh yeah, but the closest one was at Rolferton and they, when nobody went to the hospital, you mm -hmm. just made it, you had what they called a granny woman. What's that? It's like a midwife. It's a midwife. <laughs> and nanny? I know somebody that would go to your house and deliver a baby. So you were born at home? But, uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Where did you grow up at? Uh, Chimmer Rock, Lake Hoover. Um, they called it Ball Mountain. I don't know what the name of it was. But anyway, I went to school at Black Mountain. How was going to school up on Black Mountain? That, yeah. That's on, when you go over here and hit Interstate 40 and go to Asheville, mm -hmm. you go up by that little old town. Have you always lived in North Carolina or did you move states? No, I lived in North Carolina. Um, when did you move to Baton? Bo was six months old when we moved up here. So, had to make about to 35, almost 36 years. No, he was born. So that was like, we've been up here over 50 years. He was about six months old when we moved up here. Yeah, but he just turned 57. So what kind of jobs have you had? Like, yeah. Uh, like babysitting. Yeah, was that your first job? Babysitting? Uh huh. Mm. And then in the cotton mill, a hosiery mill. What's hosiery? Is that like stockings? All right. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living now? She's retired. Oh, all right. What are some things that you like to do? Yeah. Uh. So and eat and run my mouth. Crochet, knead it, do those crossword puzzles and puzzles. Yeah, I keep a puzzle going all the time. <laughs> I, do, do you have anything uh, that makes you mad? The, I don't mess with the neighbors and they don't mess with me. Mm. Oh. Now, they used to. Oh. But not now. Mm. But now I got one neighbor across the road over here. She's good. And uh, I got some down here in the hall. They're good too. Because they come. You never did see that big old tree that's blew down out there in the yard, did you? No. Well, they come up here and cut it up for me and hauled it off. And I got a clean yard down there now. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Yeah, I was trying to think of what it was. About the only thing I watch is what's on television. Mm. I don't know how long it has been since I've been to the movie. Mm. Do they have like movie theaters when you were young? Or did you have to drive? Was it a drive-in movie theater? <laughs> yeah, whenever we first got married, we went to the drive-in movies. Mm. Oh, how was that like? Like, was it fun to go to drive-in? Uh, yeah. Did you have to put the little speaker in your car? Yeah, you hung it on your car window. Mm -hmm. Do you like to read books? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Like, what's, the favorite, what's your favorite book that you've ever read? I guess Gone with the Wind. Oh, have you seen the movie? The Gone with the Wind movie? So, um, you know, these are the... Before your time, I doubt you could even find one of them now. <laughs> yeah, you could. Mama has one. I got to know the too. Yeah, and that sucker's long. Isn't the prequel or whatever, or the sequel, 
Um, Scarlet. Scarlet O'Hara. I think. Well, if you got to see a movie, you went out here and you sat in your car and it come up here on a big old screen. You didn't have them in your home, see. And you might get to go to the movie once a month. Really? How much did a ticket cost? Uh, I think the whole car load was about $3. You can't even get one person in a movie for that much. No, you can't. It costs like $7. Um, what kind of music did you like to listen to? Like, did you listen to music growing up? Like on the radio? Uh, yeah. I like gospel and then these, uh, I don't what you call them, is it? them face going. Oh, uh, um, like pop? Mm-hmm. Do you listen to country? Yeah. You never have been to Shimmery Rock, have you? I'm not. What's so. that? What is Shimmery Rock? But now this is, you go, you blowing rock, you go up this way. Shimmery mm -hmm. Rock, you go that way. And oh. it, it's in between the Marion and Asheville. Did you have any brothers and sisters growing up? Oh, yeah, they was eight of us. Um, how, many, how many brothers did you have? Uh, four, I think it was. They see the Wayne and Red and Clarence and Clyde. Of course, Clyde died when he was just a baby. And then there was four of us girls. What are their names? B, Jean, me, and Inez. Did you guys get along or did you fight a lot? Or? <laughs> yeah, we fought a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys close in age or was there, was like some of your siblings a lot older than you? Whenever we started coming along, it's about every year, every two years, yeah. it's most. Were you the youngest or the oldest or like in the middle? Uh, in the middle because it's Inez and Clarence and Red, so or James is his name, but he was red-headed, so we called him Red. No. <laughs> what were your parents like? Well, I guess you'd say common people. One half gluten or nothing like that. Yeah. Just the working class people. Yeah, what were their names? Uh, James and Mary. Did you have any uncles or aunts? Oh yeah, but I don't know how many. What was it like growing up with seven other siblings in one house? Was it crowded or? <laughs> it was exciting, I'll oh. tell you that much. It was a racket all the time. Oh. Somebody done this to me and somebody done that to me. <laughs> you mean, you just don't fight like that? We do, but <laughs> there's only two more of us, so. Um, how was school like growing up? Like, was there an elementary school and middle school and high school? Or was it just one big school? Well, it was one big school. What were the grades? Did they have a kindergarten? No. Did it just start with first grade? First grade. What did it go up to? Twelve. Did they have a college back then? If they did, it was off from where we lived at. What age did you, did you get your license? Like... Nowadays, people get them at like 16. Is that when you got yours? <laughs> no. I was. In your 20s, I know. <laughs> yeah, I do too, but I I don't remember which one of yours was the baby whenever I got them. It would have to have been both, because remember the trees out here that you tried to park in between and you knocked one of them down, and we were already here, so it had to have been both. Did you have to take a class, or did you just show up there and boom, lessons? No, you had to go take a test like you do now. But you didn't take classes like you do now. Yeah, now you have like two or three week class you have to take. No, you didn't have that. You you got out here, like you say, run over trees and stuff like that. To, you get to stay in the road, yeah. and then you go get your license. What was your career choice? Like, what did you have like a something you wanted to be when you got older or did you just didn't care? Well, with four kids, there wasn't too much you could do until you got them all up in school. Um, but how many kids did you have? Like, I know you had Mama and then you had Bo and Dickie and Cricket. Yeah. Um, who's the oldest out of your four kids? Cricket. 
Oh. Or Barbara. Yeah. What's the story behind calling her Cricket? Why don't you call her Barbara? Because <laughs> she was a hollering all the time and she sounded more like a Cricket mm -hmm. and she did, you know, a, a, a regular somebody at home. Yeah, like, yeah, like she wouldn't be quiet. Like Natalie. Oh gosh. How did you meet your husband? I come down here to stay with my aunt after my daddy died. Mm -hmm. To stay with my aunt and take care of her kids. Mm. So did you guys meet like random or, or did, were you guys introduced or set up? Uh, no. No, him and my cousin was good friends. They were around together. Or like, did you guys date before you married? Uh huh. Oh, um, did um, did Papa ask for your? Did he ask your parents for your hand in marriage, or did you guys just run off and get married? No, his mom and dad knew we were going. Because hmm. we went to South Carolina and got married. Oh, um, did you guys have a big wedding, or was it a small one? It's a small one. Mm. Back then, you just went to the justice of the beach. You didn't have all these big parties and stuff they have. Mm. Was Papa your only husband? Yes. Did you guys have? Did you guys only have four kids together? Or did he have kids before you? Or what? We had four kids. Mm -hmm. When did you guys meet? Like, were you younger? Were you? Like were you still were you still like a teenager, or were you kind of growing up and? Stuff? No, we think our early twenties. What are all your kids' names? Leonard Junior, Barbara, or the name from Marie, Sherry K, James Wallace. Oh, is that Bo? Yeah. Why do you Why do you guys call him Bo? <laughs> Not he just got to. Well, there was a song out there whenever he was just a baby. Mm -hmm. And growing up like that. It was called Bimbo. So they started calling him after that song. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason he goes by Bo now. What about Dickie? Because his name's Leonard, right? Uh -huh. How did he get the name Dickie? Yeah, I think they used to call Leonard Dick whenever he was growing up. Mm -hmm. So whenever Leonard Jr. come along, they started calling him the same thing. So, um, Dickie and Papa have the same name? Uh-huh. Oh. Except uh, Leonard Sr. and Dickie's Jr. How old were you when you had your first kid? Eighteen. Were you already graduated out of high school when you had your first kid? Mm-hmm. How long after did you have your second kid? Three days, uh, two years in between. Who was your first kid you had? Cricket. And then or Barbara and then Sherry. And then then Leonard Junior. And so Bo's the baby? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um Do you have any grandkids? <laughs> what do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you ha do you have any are you up to a, like a triple grandma yet? Like a great 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 grandma? Uh yeah, I have. Cause I know a grandma. That in, but I think my great great grandma was already passed away before I was born. Did you spend a lot of time with your grandparents growing up? Mm. Like when you were growing up, did you visit your grandparents a lot? Mm -mm. You didn't. No. Mm. Back then, you didn't go like you do now. Like you if, you, if you went, you went in either walked or in a horse and wagon. They had horse and wagon? Was cars popular back then, or was it just like walking? Just the uh, millionaires had cars back then. Um, what about TVs? Did they, have t did they have TVs back then? No. What about radios? Uh, some people had radios and some didn't. What about telephones? No. So I'm assuming cell phones are totally out of the picture. <laughs> um, did like did all your family live together? Like, like not all in one household, but like, did you live near your cousins and stuff? Oh like uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
told him we live in walking distance with some of them. Is it like a coincidence that you live on McCall Town Road and that's your last name? Like, no, that, that, I, I married a McCall. Oh, did all of the McCalls live on the street? Mm-hmm. Oh, now they don't. They, oh. they, what you might as well say, they just own this whole place through here. Mm. Now how they got it or what not, I don't know. Oh. Um, did you build your house or were, like, you were the only owners of here? Yeah. Mm. What was like? What was that like building it? Did it take a long time to build your house? I no, I don't think so. Cause uh, Leonard's brother-in-law was a carpenter, yeah. and he was the one who built the house first. They be Link. Did they have like toilets in here? back then or did you guys have to go outside and use the we, outhouse? Or? We had an outhouse. Mm, so that was interesting. Was it just like a hole in the ground? No, we had a little building down there oh. and, and it had uh, things kind of like that table there but it, they had holes cut in them and two people could use it at the same time. Oh. Did they have like a little toilet paper thing? No, we used newspaper. Newspaper? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what happens if you got like little words on you? Like when you, like when it got wet and it stuck to you, you know? Who's going to say it? Huh? Who's going to say it? I don't know. <laughs> Just wondering. Um. What about bathtubs and stuff? Do they have those in house, or they have an out bath or something? You used a wash pan. Oh. In the, in the summertime, you went down to the branch. What about washing clothes and stuff? Well, you usually done that down at the branch too. You had to. Wash pot and stuff like that set up down there, and you just dipped your water up out of the branch and put it in them and warmed it. And then uh, you, you took them out and, it, and you had what they call a rub bowl, it mm -hmm. was metal, and you put your things on and rubbed it up down like that to get them clean. What about diapers? I know mom always told me about them, they're just like cloth. Yeah, diapers is cloth. Did you have to wash them? Uh-huh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you you done the same thing with them, too. You just took it out there and got you um, what we call a foot tub. Yeah. I know you probably got one of them now that you put water in and carry out to water your flares and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and uh, put them in there. You dump what you could out of them and you ripped up your feet in there and you washed it off and then <laughs> and then you throwed that water out and put more in there and then you washed them again before you put them in your uh, tub to bore mm -hmm. you but uh, you got things pretty clean and you made your own soap how do you do that? <laughs> Now that I don't know, you know, because I never did make none. Mm. But I saw Mama make it. What about milk? Did you have like a cow out back? Yeah, we had a cow. Did you, what about, do you have like chickens and stuff? Yeah. Oh. What about restaurants? Did they have restaurants back then? No, out in the country where we lived. They had them in town. Mm. How, about how far away was town from where you guys lived? I'd say 20 miles, maybe longer. So it's like from here to Hickory? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a long ways away. Um, what about power? Did you guys have like lights or did you have to use candles? Use candles and lanterns and uh, 
Those oil lamps? Lamps, yeah. That's what I was trying to think of. Mm -hmm. But now, you you had the back kerosene put in them, and then you just got to light them long enough of the night for you to see to get them dead and stuff like that. Yeah. Then you turn them off. Um, what about, do you remember any world wars, like World War Two or anything, or one? Uh, I don't remember World War One, but now Clarence and Red both was in World War Two. What was that like? Like, did they just like get shipped off? Uh, they they joined up and then they went wherever they joined at, and then they sent them on to the camps where they stayed. Yeah. Did you talk to them? Like, did, did you guys write letters or anything? We'd write them letters once in a while, but we didn't have no telephones. Mm. How much did, like, a stamp cost back then? Uh, three cent. Really? How much did it cost now? Forty-eight cent. What about gas? How much did gas cost? Gas is about ten cents a gallon. And, and it like was rationed during World War Two. What's rationing? You could only get so many gallons, and they gave you ration cards, didn't they? Mm hmm mm -hmm. And there was a, a training camp near where Youngs lived, wasn't they, during World War Two? Wasn't they a training camp up at Chimley Rock or hey, somewhere up there? Then they're uh, in between Chimley Rock and Lake Lua. Mm. But now gas costs like $3 a gallon. It's closer to four. Oh, four, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I think it is hitting four at some places. Mm. Um, do you remember the Holocaust? No. What about 9-11? Do you remember 9-11? When the those two buildings, those planes hit those two buildings in New York, they mm -hmm. collapsed. No, I don't remember too much about that. Do you remember any big, big? Do you remember any big disasters that happened during mm -hmm. your time? Like any like big wars or something, or fires or tragedies? Kennedy got killed. You oh, when he got shot. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? I I forgot a lot. My memory's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. What was the economy like? Like, was everyone... What about the Great Depression? Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the Great Depression? Escorians didn't have anything in the 30s where the stock market crashed and nobody had any food and people were lining up for work. And what other kind of things happen? If you lived kind of on a farm like we did, you had food to eat, mm -hmm. but you didn't have no money to go to the store and buy nothing. In fact, there were no stores around like there is now. Like, right. did you guys have like a market you went and bought things? They grew their own or killed their own in the woods. Did you guys hunt? Like deer and stuff? Mm hmm Did you ever hunt? Like go out and I shoot a gun? Said, uh, I've set rabbit guns. To, you put lettuce and stuff in them and the rabbit goes in it and it had a little thing on it. It flipped it. Like spring. And, and the rabbit couldn't get out. So mm -hmm. you had a good meal off that rabbit. Oh, God. And they fished and had turtles and frogs. Uh -huh. um, now frog legs are good. Yeah. <laughs> I have smelled frog legs. Not a big fan mm -hmm. of them. They jump around in the pan and you cook them. Oh god. So you guys just chop off their legs while they're alive? No. <laughs> then how do they flip around? I still have nerve endings in them. Oh, that's nasty. Did you guys have any pets? 
Like have a dog. Do you do you have like do you remember any of your pets? Didn't you have a skunk at one time, Mama? Uh, yeah, we had a little skunk that come up and run around the house. And Didn't it spray you guys? Like spray you with the stuff? Mm -mm. It played with the dogs just like the dogs played with it. Did you guys have any cats? Yeah, we kept a cat all the time. That's where our milk came from. Mm. What about goats? Yeah, we had goats too. Did you have like a big barn? No. Mm, just kept them in the back? Mm -hmm. What other kind of animals did you have? Pigs. Mm. Boy, that ham meat was good in the winter time. <laughs> God. You had to kill it first. Um, you know, they, when they called the hog killing time and all the neighbors would go around and help each other and they had what to call a, some kind of a house, I forget what, smoke out, that's what it was. Mm. And uh, it had a, down here you put your vegetables and stuff and then up here it was kind of open and then on up here at the top it's where you hung your meat for it to cure out. Mm. Um, you want to know how to kill a chicken? I do. I guess. Bring the heads off. Ew. That is what? Mean. Tell her how to kill a chicken and fix it. What, do you have any horses? Did you? What things did you do for fun? Go swimming, play in the river. And mm. Did you have like a best friend growing up? Yeah. Who was it? Like what was their name? Uh, Joyce Elliott, Charlotte uh, Gross, Wiley Freddy. Anyway, they, we was all in the same grade together. Mm -hmm. And then you just had one teacher to a whole room. You didn't have different ones that run in and out. Yeah. What was Christmas like? Did you, did you like all your family get together and have one big meal? And if you wasn't there, you didn't have enough to eat. Oh. What kind of food did y'all fix? And whatever we had in the smokehouse and got out of the garden. Like ham? Mm-hmm. Oh. What about Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving, you, we usually had chicken. We never did have no turkey. Oh, why not? Did you, oh, you just we, didn't want it? We just couldn't afford it. Oh, so it was like a turkey, like a big price item back then? Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm and, not even a big fan of turkey. And back then, Turkeys and chickens didn't get along too good together, so the chickens was the cheapest. Um, did you guys have any ducks on your farm? Mm -mm. Um, we we didn't have a farm. We just helped other people on theirs. Yeah. And they usually got like a bag of fruit and nuts for, that was their Christmas present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about birthdays? We hardly ever got anything for birthday. Did you guys like have a cake? No. Mm. I after I got up big enough to, you know, get little odd jobs and do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'd make the latest, smaller ones cakes, but now as far as going and buy a cake, uh uh. Mm. When did you get your first car? Like, how old were you when you got your first car? That little brown car I had was the first one. I mean, when was that? It was somewhere in between 25 and 30, weren't you? Something like that. Did you ever get in, like, a big bad wreck? Or, like, how did you get your truck? Did, like, your car just quit working before then, or you just wanted a new one? Or what? When your car wore out, you just traded and got you a new one. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, the one you had, you drove it until, what they say, drove the wheels off of it or 
the motor would blow out or something another, and then you'd go get another one. Mm. Were cars expensive back then? Well, nothing like they are now. Mm. Like, they're, like they're not as fancy or anything? No, it's just the cost of living. What do you mean? Stuff cost us a lot more now than it did when she was growing up or I was growing up. Um, yeah. Have, how much do you give for a Pepsi now when you go buy? Like a little bottle? It was like a doll or something. And we could get them for three cents. Really? Do they have like glass or do they have like the little plastic things now? Glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you used to have penny candy. What's penny candy? You only paid a penny for it. Oh. And big, big old sucker now, like you give five and ten cents for, you can get it for a penny back then. Really? What about the doctor? Like when you got sick or something, did you go to the doctor or did you just, oh God, there's a bug in here. <laughs> you, you just mm -hmm. took whatever they decided to give you and laid there until you got better. Um. But now, later on, you did. Mm. And doctors used to come out to your house. Mm -hmm. You were sick. Mm. Well, what about dentists? Did you guys go to the dentist a lot? Or did you just rough it out? Just roughed it out. If you had, like, a toothache, would you put, like, that thing of ice on it and, like, tie the little thing on your head like they do on TV? Mm-mm. Mm. Do you have any favorite shows? Like, did you ever watch Andy Griffin? You know that show? Oh yeah, we we watched Andy Griffin all the time. What about nowadays? Like, do you just watch soaps? Like, The Young and the Restless? I, they, they, they the television ain't even turned on. Really? Mm -hmm. You just sit around, play puzzles? <laughs> Uh, most of the time I'm outside doing something if it ain't cold like it is mm -hmm. now. And if it is, I'm usually working a puzzle or reading a book or something like that. Yeah. Did it did it snow a lot when you were growing up or when Mama was growing up? Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen Christmas Story? You know, where the... The little boy that shoots his eye out with a BB gun. Ralphie has mm -hmm. that guy on it. Where he licks the um, he gets he dares his friend to lick the the pole, and it gets stuck. Stuck. What about um? I don't know any others. What about clothes? Did did your mom make like was like did you guys go out to a store and buy clothes, or did you guys just every once in a while go to? Like, and buy fabric or something and stuff. Like, how did you guys make clothes? What was that? That's so. not up here at the house. This this house? This house. That's Momo's house? Yep. What are all these? Who, who's that? Go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? Go ahead and talk to Momo. Like, okay, um, what did you guys do for clothes? Like, it's clothes. No, just whatever anybody gave us is what we wore. Mm. Did your mom make clothes too? Oh uh, yeah. Did you guys like wear hand me downs or? Mm hmm. What about shoes? Did you guys yeah. get like one pair a year? One pair a year, yeah. yeah. And it had to do you all year. Mm. You just wore them whenever you went to school. You come home and then you went barefoot. You did? What about church? Did you go to church growing up? Yeah. Did you guys have like, like, did you have like a special outfit you wore when you went to church? No, we wore the same thing when we went to school. Mm. And that one time we uh, had went to school in the church. It was just well, one no bigger than this. The room. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not everybody, every grade was in, in the same room. About how many people were in your grade or class? Uh, I think it was uh, 10. Really? In my, whenever I graduated.
Um, turn, turn the light on and see the light. What about, did you guys ever go to the beach? Uh, yeah, when we graduated from school. This is the first time I've been to the beach. Did you guys go on, on any other vacations, like um, to the mountains, or did you ever have you ever been to like another country, like Australia, no. last continent? <laughs> you're you're talking about rich people now. <laughs> um, do you have any in funny stories you'd like to tell about growing up? Like anything funny? No, that's one thing Daddy wouldn't let us do is go around telling what we thought was funny to other people. Because um, he wasn't like the other. Were your parents really strict? Mm hmm. Um, like, if you got in trouble, what would your punishment be? Like, would you have to do extra chores or. That's her mom and dad. Um, what about cameras back then? Were they like the ones that when you took them, it came out front? Yeah, we had one like that. What and were they? And then uh, I, I had a little box camera about this big cross and stood about that high. And that's what I took most of mine with. Um, what about newspapers? Did you guys get one every morning? No. Only did you it guys was a special occasion to get a newspaper. Really? Like, did y'all get them on Sundays or only when something big happened? Uh, only when something big happened. Um, were they like the ones today that are like huge and gotta mm -hmm. undo them? Did you guys walk to school or did you catch a bus? Uh, well, when we went to school in that little one-room schoolhouse that everybody walked to school mm -hmm. and just had, like I say, about the size of this house here. Was it close to you or was it far away? It was about a mile, mile and a half. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you play outside a lot? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What did y'all do? Like, did you like play hide and go seek or stuff like that? Yeah, most of the time we was working. Um, what about your house that you grew up in? Was it? Did you like you have to? Did you have to share your bedrooms with your brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. How was that like? How was sharing? You back then you didn't pay it no attention. Mm -hmm. You. Like, did you every, just, everybody got treated the same. Mm -hmm. Like, did you guys just st stay in your room when you had to go to sleep? Mm -hmm. um, and we had a big old fireplace at the end of the house where we, that was the only place you had any heat coming from, was out of that fireplace. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys didn't have like one of them heaters or like in the floor mm -mm. heating? Mm -mm. Did, was your house small or did it have a basement? No. Oh. Just one story I guess you got like because it didn't have no basement or nothing in it. It's just one straight, just like these rooms are here, just straight back. Yeah. Um, did, I think a question. Um, did, like, did you have any chores to do? Oh, yeah. What kind of chores did you have? Anything that was to be done. What? If you was there, you done it. Like, how did y'all mow your grass? Did you have like a riding lawn mower or a push? No. What, what, what kind of? A, a sling blade. You know what that is, don't you? No. What is it? <laughs> is it like a knife you just slash your grass? Well, yeah. It's got a blade down here at the bottom of it, and it's got a handle coming up. And you just slash it. And, it. and it cuts it off down next to the ground. Mm. Did you guys have a lot of land? No. 
Um, just enough for like your garden and we, stuff. Yeah, like sharecroppers is really what we would. Was that where you just you, sh you share work crops? For, work for somebody, somebody else. Um, and doing what they wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't get it done, you got told about it. And then if you didn't get everything done in time to get it up and get it in what we call smoke houses and stuff like that, before it got so cold it froze on it, you didn't have enough to eat during the winter. Yeah. What kind of like what kind of toys did y'all have? Or did you even have toys back then? We had sticks. Like like you get out here and cut your stick off and tie your string around the front of it and that was your horse. Um like did you got what kind of things did you do for fun? Like did like bef did you guys have a lot of time to do stuff? Like play and stuff? Mm mm. You just work in Worked chores? The whole time. You had to work to keep something to eat. Yeah. Um, what about the hairstyles back then? What was it like? Like your hairstyles? Did you guys dye your hair? No. What about cutting it? Yeah, it got cut off in, in the summertime. So you let it grow all year round, and then with mm -hmm. summer you cut it all the way off. Yeah, next summer you got another hair cut. Um, so you only got like one haircut a one, year. Yeah. Um, what color was your hair growing up? Like, was it blonde? It was blonde or white, whatever you want to call it. Like bleach blonde. Like, like super blonde. Yeah, I guess you could call it like that. Um. Sometimes it looked like it had kind of a yellowish tint to like, it. Like golden, golden blonde. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, do you have any, or um, when, like back in your day when they had cameras and stuff, was it only black and white or was it colors? It's just black and white. Um, do you remember when they, be, they like came out, like when you guys got your first, um, Color camera, or did you guys ever get one? We never did get one. What about when Mama and and Bo and Dickie and all them cricket and stuff mm. were growing up? Did you guys have one? Well, in later years, I think they did. But when they were they were Yorns's age, they did. Mm. Did they fight a lot growing up? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How did you discipline them? Did you? I, I just let them go. Um, did they um, have a lot of chores to do? Yeah. Mm. Because this stuff you get out here and do with the car now and, and uh, lawnmower and stuff like that, you didn't have it. You had to do it yourself. Yeah. Like, if something broke, would you guys just throw it away or would you fix no, it? No, it had to be fixed if it could be. Um. Um. Do you remember when you got your first TV? Like when you guys bought your first TV? No, I don't. Um. Now, Dickie or some of them could probably tell you, but like I say, my memory's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't have one till we moved up here, did we? Do we have one at Road Hills? Huh? Did we have one at Road Hills or after we moved up here? Because it used to sit right there in that corner on that big old table. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have... I, I believe we did have one when we lived at Road Hills. We got it from Dwight Church. Uh-huh. Um, do you guys have any traditions you did? Like any special things you did? Just <laughs> fight. That's the only thing I know. <laughs> mm. Did you guys like wrestle? 
uh, the boys did. Do they like wrestle pigs and stuff? And Shuri was in with them too on that. Oh. She was as much boy as they was. Did um um what what was Christmas like? Did you guys go get a fake tree? Or did you go cut one out of woods? Like your Christmas tree? Mm-hmm. Did you guys cut like you get a real Christmas tree, or was it a fake plastic one? We used to go cut them for a long, long time, and then Daddy started getting them from the Ruitan Club. What's the Ruitan Club? Uh, one of these organizations that helps people out. Oh. But uh, they they were real trees. They weren't fake until. Uh, it's been about three, four years ago. Mm. Whenever we got a, a fake one. Yeah. Do you have any keepsakes, like something that's been passed down in your family from generation to generation? These Those lamps, lamps they used there. to be kerosene lamps. They were your grandmother's or great grandmother's? Great grandmother's. Mm-hmm. Uh, turn that switch thing on down there and, and then you can turn the light, I mean the lamps on. Oh, so they were kerosene, and then you guys transformed them to be mm-hmm. actual lights? But now, those lamps there used to be kerosene lamps. Yeah. Is that what y'all used for a lot back then? Kerosene lamps? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That, that was the only kind of light you had back then, whenever we was growing up as kerosene lamps. Mm-hmm. Do you have any photo albums or scrapbooks or home movies? No. Um, stop photo albums. Oh. Um. Did like you grow up in a town where everybody knew everybody and everything? Like, was it a small town? It wasn't a town. It was out in the country. Or like a. We, a holler. Mm-hmm. Now this right here, what they call McCall Town Road. Yeah. It was, whenever we moved down here, it was this McCall Road. They didn't have the town to it. Was it dirt road or paved? Dirt. How long was it a dirt road? For a while? Uh, it, well, you, it's not been paved for what, two years, three years? Um, no, it's probably about 20. Um. Um. But when we moved up here, it wasn't paved. Was it just dirt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was still dirt whenever I was had, in high school. Had gravel on it. Mm. Did did it when it flood? Did it get all muddy and stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, when it like rained and got really floody, did it um mess up your garden and stuff, or did it just give it extra water? Just give it extra water. So it didn't like harm it at all? Uh-uh. Well, um. see, we lived on a hill and it run off. Now, um. if you'd been down in the bottom, you, I, I can remember down there at the bottom of the hill where that uh, branch down there where the spring was at. Mm-hmm. We'd get way up. Um. Did you guys have bathing suits or did you just wear shorts and stuff and go. <laughs> Most of the time we just went in our underwear. Oh. <laughs> you could see we was out in the country and everybody done it. Yeah. Following the crowd. Yeah. You was in style then just like you are in your fancy bathing suits now. <laughs> um, have you ever been to the beach? Yeah. What was that like for you? Oh. It was an adventure. Was it? Like, did you like it better than living here in the country, kind of? Well, it was something different. Yeah, because of the we, salt water and stuff. Uh, yeah, our uh, graduating class went down there. Yeah. We graduated. Was it North Carolina Beach or was it Myrtle? Yeah. 
he lived in, in North Carolina. I think mm. or it might have been Myrtle Beach where we went to. Mm. Did, how long did y'all stay there? Hmm? How long did you stay at the beach? Uh, three days, I think it was. Mm. Did like did you guys drive there? Like, did you all drive together? Uh, Y'all take a yeah. bus. Everyone that went. Would, see, there wasn't but twelve in our class. Yeah. And we went in one car. All and I of think it's, uh, I don't think we was but about seven of us that went. But when I reached away, they went but twelve in their flights. Yeah. Did um you guys pack a lot of things, or did you just bring like a little sack of stuff? Yeah, we did. They didn't have a lot of stuff to pack. Oh, wasn't sure. Jeez. <laughs> um. Is that, did you have? Was that the only time you ever been to the beach? No, we've been to the beach in Florida. Really? Yeah. Huh? that space center down there. She not tell you about that. No. What is it like taking your kids to the beach? Taking my mom and to the beach mm-hmm. first time. They, they behave pretty good. Did they like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we took them to that space center in Florida too. How was that like? I, that was an adventure. <laughs> that was just you and Daddy. We just drove out there on the beach. We didn't go. Yeah, you didn't go when we went to the space thing. Mm-hmm. That was just you and Daddy. We went down to Jeans and uh, Jacks. Jeans and Jacks and uh, the Wayne. baby Wayne's and his wife's. And we went to where they had the glass spot on boats. But it was just you and Daddy that went to the Space Center. Mm. You had that big old Ford car. You got out there and drove up and down the Daytona Beach with it. And you and Daddy went to the World's Fair over there in Tennessee. Did you guys stay in a hotel when you went there? When we went to the beach. We went down there and come back in one day. Mm. Daddy's car tore up on coming back. Mm. And... Uh, when we used to go camping, we went camping a lot. We'd sleep in the car. You guys didn't have tents? Nope. What about sleeping bags? Nope. What'd y'all do? Did you guys only go camping during the summer? Yep. What about during the winter? What'd y'all do? We stayed home, played in the snow. Did you? Did it snow a lot every year? I just showed you the pictures, Megan. I know, but did it snow a lot every year? Just about. One year it snowed every Tuesday and every Thursday. Really? We've been out of school for every Friday, except this Friday. And we didn't have pants. We had to wear skirts outside in 